Butterflies, I'm Glenda of Style with Glenda K. Harrison, the place to rediscover life through the lens of style and self-nurturing. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to show you what I do to get my feet sandal ready. So I live here in Southern California and sandal season is kind of all year long. But I know in other parts of the world, your feet are covered up and you're wearing boots and so forth and you're just not paying that much attention to your feet. So today I want to show you what I do to get my feet sandal ready. But first, I want to share a story with you. Now, this happened probably about 19, 18 years ago. And I was sitting in church, it was summertime, I was sitting behind a woman, and I looked down and I could see the back of her feet from where she was sitting in front of me. She had kicked her sandals off and I could see the back of her feet. Now, <laughs> I don't mean to be mean, but she obviously had neglected her feet. So they were very dry and very cracked and it kind of prevented me from concentrating on what was being said and going forth during the service. So I had made a vow to myself that I would never let my feet get that way. But <laughs> unfortunately, Sometimes we do neglect our feet. Now for myself, I'm kind of like that bohemian hippie girl and I love walking around my house, around my house and my bare feet. Well, one day my son and I went out to get coffee. It was a warm day. I had my sandals on and we were conversating and I happened to look down at my feet and oh my gosh, I am so sorry to say that they were so dry. They weren't as bad as the woman that was in church, but nonetheless, they did not meet my standards. They were very dry. I wear sandals probably 90% of the time, and there is no way I would want anybody, or even myself, to look down at my feet and say, oh my, this woman has forgotten to take care of her feet. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to keep my feet soft and callus free and no dry skin on the bottom when I remember to do so. And it's a very simple, easy thing to do. So let's get started. Let's get the ingredients and let's get it going. Okay, butterflies, here is what you're going to need for this foot soap. Apple cider vinegar with the mother. Now, the mother is what's added to apple cider vinegar that kind of gives it that cloudy appearance. It's more bacteria, enzymes, and protein. All of those things will help in removing the dry skin from the bottom of your feet. 100% Jamaican castor oil about a tablespoon of baking soda, a callus remover, a pair of thick socks, a towel, and a foot tub. Now, you don't have to have a fancy foot tub like this. You can just go to the dollar store or Target or Walmart and pick up a tub that you can pour these ingredients into and it will accommodate, accommodate your feet. Um, this tub vibrates and heats and does all those fancy things, but I won't even be using it for this procedure. And you're going to also need some warm water. So let's get started.
Okay, so now my feet are done and they're blanketed in my cozy socks. And it's roughly about 3 p.m. here today, so I'm going to just pat around in my socks for the rest of the day. And when I get ready for bed, I'll remove my socks and my feet will be nice and soft. Now, if your feet are really dry, I would recommend doing this procedure um, once a week, twice a week, whatever it takes to get your feet nice and smooth on the bottom. So I'll have a list to all the products that I used at, in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have not already subscribed to my website community, I invite you to do so at glendakharrison.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at justbeingglenda. And I look forward to chatting with you all. So until next time, butterflies. Bye. Thank you.